Welcome to NIAI Imagination. Today's topic is important international conventions on environment. I am Navdeep Kaur. First of all, I would like to discuss UNFCCC or FCCC, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. is an international environmental treaty produced at United Nations Conference on Environment and Development informally known as Earth Summit held in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil June 3rd to 14 1992 objective of treaty is to stabilize greenhouse gases concentration in the atmosphere at level that would prevent dangerous anthropogenic interference with the climate system the treaty itself sets no mandatory limit on the greenhouse gases emission for individual countries and contains no enforcement mechanism in that sense the treaty is considered as legally non binding treaty okay treaty provides for update code protocols that would set mandatory emission limits let's consider the kyoto protocol the aim of the protocol was fighting global warming initially adopted on december 11 1997 in kyoto japan and then the fourth on 16th feb 2005 as of july 2010 191 states signed the ratified protocol 39 industrialized countries committed to reduce four greenhouse gases called uh, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, sulfate hexafluoride and two group of gases hydrofluorocarbons HFC and perfluorocarbons. Annex 1 countries agrees to reduce their emissions by 5.2% of 1990s level by 2012 code the protocol allows several flexible mechanisms such as emission trading clean development mechanism called cdm joint implementation let's consider another important convention copenhagen summit the copenhagen accord in 2009 it was first global agreement of 21st century to control global warming it was the 15th conference called COP 15 US led the pact of architects with the basic four uh China India Brazil South Africa America itself in order they were key partners in framing the agreement how there is divide between developed and developing countries on the climate change 15% of world population developed world emits 45% of carbon dioxide it is very large amount of carbon dioxide which emits by developed countries UNFCCC has mandated developed world should reduce emission help developing world with technology and money to lower the emission as well but not of them is done yet that is why there is divide between developed and developing countries on climate change has copig in failed and target set for 2012 are unlikely to be met that the love world want a new treaty with fewer responsibilities in future they enter into the new treaty i'll discuss what in the store for india then india cannot reduce emissions they will grow as the economy grows it may come under the pressure from both least developed countries that are most affected by climate change and developed countries to reduce the emissions then there is can contact in means can contact signed by different countries and kyoto way out can can in mexico world leader from 193 countries signed a new global climate resolution called can can agreement on december 11 2010 they also decided that they had to sound that now or kyoto protocol signed in 90s uh, which they felt had clearly outrun its value in the changed global order where the emerging economies sit on the higher table with the rich kyoto protocol was based on top down approach it was on papers at least required to first ascertain how much emission had to be removed from the atmosphere to keep temperature rise in control 
Once this was ascertained, it was then meant to apportion the responsibility of reducing emission among the rich countries according to their historical burden of polluting. UNFPCC country members signed a pact that shall set into place a pledge and review deal under Cancun Pact. US wanted slow start. Why? They said it would take measly target for 2020. It did not want to, co to be compared to other rich countries. And it was only beginning on the path of having green economy and could not jump start to deep emission cuts. It also demanded that other emerging economies such as India and China should too take strong actions because their emission would otherwise rise in future. This we have complete with uh, our important international conventions. Now my next topic would be on Earth Day Climate Fund Carbon Credit. This will be a smaller topic but very important. Subscribe Mia Imagination channel at YouTube to get regular lectures. If you have any query you can mail me and Mia Imagination on Facebook is my page. You can come and like it. Thank you watching.